live in downtown Detroit. Local 4 live stream with Jason Carr starts now. Have your mic. What you, what you, you don't have my mic. This one right here. Which one is it now? Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> wow. Wow. How's that? Is that better? Much better. <laughs> we can hear you now. Oh, listen to the, the gales of laughter coming from the background. Yeah, I wonder what they're laughing about. In the morning meeting. Uh, maybe they're laughing about the white wine study because, as TV's Ken just pointed out, uh, there's never a bad study about wine. Well, sometimes. Today it was, right? What do you mean sometimes? Well, this one's a bad study. This I know. That's what It's notable a because study. a small glass of white wine, notice they said white wine a day, could increase the risk of skin cancer by 13%, says a new study from Brown University. Drinking alcohol is associated with higher rates of invasive melanoma, and white wine carries the greatest risk. Why? Why? Uh, Professor Cho says it was surprising that white wine was the only drink independently associated with increased risk of melanoma. Research has shown that some wine has higher levels of pre-existing... Jeez. Yeah, it's a, that's a word. Ace acetylide? Acetylide. Uh, um, so there you go. There it is. White wine, bad for you in higher amounts. I drink red anyways. I don't know. I was going to say. It's got to be mean, a hot day for me to get a When a I sent you that as a talker wine. topic, I believe that the subject line said, I like red better anyway or yeah. something like that. Uh, so you can obviously overdose on too much wine, uh, but can you overdose on coffee? Turns out you can. Uh, a few too many cups of coffee or shots of espresso can have your hands shaking as you wipe sweat from your brow. Caffeine generally takes four to six hours to wear off. Going over four cups can be asking for trouble, John. Yep. Yep. You can start sweating. Your hands will be shaking. Uh, you have heart palpitations. Uh, it's especially bad for anyone with high blood pressure. A caffeine overdose can cause heart rhythm disturbances. Mm -hmm. uh, vaso or vasoconstriction, heart attack, stroke, high blood pressure. So how many cups of coffee have you had this morning? Uh, me? Yeah. Since 3.30? Five or six? Yeah. I've only been here since about 6 a.m., so I've had three. We're working up to it. We'll get there soon. One one <laughs> cup an hour? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much all morning long. One cup an hour of coffee is what does it. Um, were those all uh, photos of cats, by the with way? With coffee, yeah. What is with the cat? Cat tax. It's the internet. you got to pay your cat yeah. tax. I'd like to uh, sick the Bumpus's dogs on uh, your collection of cats. Wait, it's not loud enough. Is it's, uh, it's because I got to switch between volumes. <laughs> Bumpus's. <laughs> First, I don't have my mic on. Then that's <laughs> no. not high enough. Yeah, we're working on getting those drops better, though. We'll have the the whole the whole system set up here. They give me dates. It's an extremely uh, fragile. Oh, fragile? It's a fragile system we have here. Fragile. It must be Italian. Well, I think that says fragile, honey. Oh, yeah. Fragile. Yeah, it must be Italian. Now, speaking of nostalgia, uh, Christmas Story, greatest movie ever, and this might be the greatest apartment ever. Christmas Story set in the 1940s. This apartment set in the 1960s. People who do estate sales call a place that looks like this a time capsule. Yeah, this is, I mean, every single piece of furniture in this place. Look at that. Is that the jackalope on the wall from the uh, beef jerky commercial? Or what? Yeah, he's talking. <laughs> I have uh, things, I think people imagine that our house looks like this. It does not, but we do have some pieces. Yeah, at that least there's one room. Hmm? Is there like one room? No, it's, it's kind of scattered here scattered. and there. We have a ball chair, okay. you know, like the 60s style yeah. Austin Powers ball chair. Um, I've got some stuff in storage too. I've always wanted this Sputnik hanging, you know, light fixture. Yeah. I've never acquired one. A lot of diamond shaped, uh, <clears throat> there's a clock over there. And I don't know, is that a dartboard? You got the bear on the wall. 
I, I love these rugs too. I mean, every single piece in the entire room. This place actually exists. It's yep. owned by Miles McDermott, uh, whose grandmother collected a lot of what you see here. Look at that. It, I think it's especially cool when the built-ins are still there in great condition and the original like uh, teal or aqua appliances or avocado green yeah. and harvest gold. And, and now they just do them with black and stainless steel, but that's, that's good looking. And the whole kitchen, I mean like that, it must have been a set. The, the refrigerator, the oven, the, uh, the, the stove range hood, I mean they're all the same, same color, it must have all been made together. Teresa Clagg says, we had the fireplace in the 70s in our home. The orange fireplace, can you go back to that, should I? Which one was? Uh, that orange fireplace with the uh, smokestack. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, in the back, yeah. Yeah, the vent. There it is, yeah. Teresa Clagg had that in the 70s. Did you have bean bags too? We had bean bag chairs and shag carpeting. Uh, good morning to you, Abraham. Hmm. Jules says that we have three girls with another girl on the way. I'm going to need my coffee as soon as the baby is born. I'm switching back to regular instead of decaf. Yeah, decaf. Decaf. Yeah. I mean, once you're caffeinated, you may as well keep it going. Teresa says, so cool to see one again. What in the name of Francesca Catanese is going on today? BK Tots. That's what's going on. BK Tots. Yeah. Remember, Napoleon, you're going to eat your tots. Eat your tots. What are you going to do today, Napoli? Whatever I feel like. Gosh. Gosh. <laughs> you know, it's interesting. This movie came out in 2004, but when it first came to theaters, it didn't it didn't do that well. It was it, when it came it was to DVD, that yeah. it, was, it was huge. And uh, I remember my senior year of high school, our, uh, our one teacher had put this on uh, on the last day of school and said, this is probably the most important movie of your senior year. This is the movie you guys have been quoting all year long. And you're always going to remember it as this this movie from your senior year. And uh, so, anyways, these characters just came back for a, uh, a commercial. You ever wish you could? Here we go. Just go back, Napoleon. Back. Whoa, are those cheesy tots? Yeah. Are they good? Yeah. Can I have one? Sure. Finish your drink. Pretty great now, stuff. Was it somebody famously panned Napoleon Dynamite? Was it Roger Ebert? Somebody gave it a, a really poor review. Yeah. And it was basically sort of a if you don't get it, you don't get it kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It's it's a strange experimental type of thing at the time. That kind of humor didn't really wasn't around to that awkwardness to it. Um, so, anyways, cheesy tots now available at Burger King. Road trip. Yep. Maybe. Well, I have to do live in the D at the top of the hour. So I've got uh, this live stream coming you up. Live, uh, you've yeah. got a live stream coming up. In Japan at Starbucks, they have unveiled baked apple latte. Well, now you're wow. going to drink it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. There it is. Why does all the crazy gimmicky stuff go over there and we never get anything like that here. Testing it all in Japan, I, I don't know. That's their <laughs> test audience, I guess. There you go. Yeah. Little gingerbread man there saying, what the heck is this giant baked apple latte doing in my yard? <laughs> wow. So, so if, if you want that. To the States, you know, yeah, get, 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 catch a flight to Japan, check out the new Starbucks drink. Oh, here's something interesting from Bowl of Bacon Nation from Jason Carr Live Nation. Not to be confused with the ticket purveyor Live Nation. Arlene says, my cousin Vinny was pulled and re-released six months later. That is, that is my aunt, Aunt Arlene. Hey, <laughs> morning. So you're gonna tell me that most of our viewers are your family members, I, is that what it is? I guess so, I don't know. Uh, but I did not really, why was my cousin Vinny pulled? Because the two Utes Weren't, the two uh, utes. The two yeah. utes weren't ready for uh, prime time. 
We'll have to look that up. Jacob, can you look up, look up why my pulled? cousin Vinny was pulled and re-released? Yeah. Let's find out. And yes, Alex, meantime, I do remember that stunt. The WAP, you remember the Whopper with the black bun? Yeah, yeah, I don't think I ever had it. I never tried it, but. Extreme Biker in pursuit of the GoPro of the world best line contest, $15,000 grand prize. 21 year old daredevil Fabio Wibmer strapped on a helmet cam and rode up to the fence overlooking this 660 foot tall Kolmbrine Dam in Carinthia, Austria, and rode down the handrail. 660 feet above certain death. It just terrifies me. I'm not, I'm not that like bad with heights, but I avoid them. No, no, come on. Seriously? Yeah, I don't understand the point. Well, I suppose the point is to show that you can, whoa, oh, yeah. oh, oh. <laughs> it's hard oh, to watch. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, are you kidding me right now? No, this is, this is real. I don't know, I mean, you wonder if he's got a rope tied to his back and we can't see that. He's or a parachute. <laughs> God, there has to be something going on here that we can't see. Otherwise, well, if he hadn't made it, this would be a snuff film because yep, we'd, be, that's... we'd be looking at somebody plunging to his death. Well. <laughs> What's going on there at the bottom of the dam that looks like a, an outdoor amphitheater with trees and... Yeah. They might be... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that we enjoy each other's company because, you know, it was, it was hopefully it's not just us being entertained or yeah. infotained. I'm in sort of a, uh, it's like I'm ready for the weekend already kind of mood today. Yep. Maybe it's because I've had six cups of coffee since. I, I'm ready too. It's uh, one more day, two more days, well, one and a half. Right. Okay, let's, uh, Mashable.com has weird gifts under $5. Yeah, some of them were uh, pretty strange, pretty weird stuff, but uh, Not go ahead up. and take a look through them. This is a 50-piece message in a bottle set. Um, uh, Jacob, do these have messages already written on them, or you I, write the messages on them? I believe you them? write the messages, but the captains are really small, so you got to write short messages if you want to use them. Oh boy. Uh, yeah. Four piece novelty bone ballpoint pen set. Uh, <laughs> the human face stress balls. You squeeze these into varying shapes of distress and yeah. tension release. Um, barbarian knit octopus beanie. Now, the first thing I thought of when I saw this was Cthulhu? Pirates. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, Pirates yeah. of the Caribbean. What's his name? Uh, the Flying Dutchman, right? No, that's SpongeBob. What am I saying? Well, the Flying Dutchman. We had this discussion like two weeks ago about the SpongeBob thing. Um, I love the Flying Dutchman, by the way. It was that was one of our first episodes doing the whole SpongeBob. It was Hugh Jackman that looked like uh, looked like the guy. <laughs> yeah. Who dares disturb the Flying Dutchman? Uh, Lucador bottle opener. Yeah, this is uh, this is kind of neat. Mexican wrestler mm -hmm. bottle opener. No, that was on Davy Jones. Jones, was it? No. no was what it? was it? Oh, for granted. Yeah, I guess it was Davy, Davy Jones. Jones. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's a Lucky Penny with Tennessee cut out of it. Yeah, that's, uh, I don't know. You know what, though? I guess if someone was selling quarters with the Michigan you know, cut out of it, I might. I might you might want one. It's illegal. You're definitely defacing <laughs> currency, but uh, why not? Mustache, avocado. <laughs> Paper clips. Yeah. There's <laughs> got to be someone out there that wants them. Dill pickle mints. Because who doesn't love dill? Any, you know what I just bought the other day at Trader Joe's? What? Dill pickle popcorn. Yeah. The last time I had it last year, I ate the entire bag in one sitting. Wow. Really? Wow. You should go to Trader Joe's and get some dill pickle popcorn. It is top notch. All right. I'll, I'll take your word for it. Uh, grass blade ballpoint pen. Although each one of those is a ballpoint pen. These are gifts under five dollars from our friends at Mashable.com. There's the uh, tibia bottle opener. It's going tibia okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. 
Uh, <laughs> the Christmas turkey hat. We saw these at the parade. Oh, yeah? Uh, Ken and I, TV's Ken and I saw those at the parade a lot. The Beanie Baby tag protector. I think this is a funny gift to give anybody. <laughs> that actually protects the original tag on yeah, the Beanie Baby yeah. in your collection. Ridiculous. Uh, Darth Vader bottle opener. That's great. Wow, that sounds... Thank that's you. not a drop, that's Jason. <laughs> um, <laughs> puppy and hat figurine. Very <laughs> distressful. And rubber band snowflake. You know what I saw recently? Was, and I should have grabbed video of it or something, but there were these, these uh, marshmallows that were in the shape of a flower held together with a, uh, a circle of chocolate. And you put it in your hot chocolate, and the chocolate melts, and then the flower like opens up. It's, it's just kind of cool looking. I'm sure they're, you know, for the for the hot chocolate connoisseur. <laughs> have you uh, have you ascertained whether or not you're playing poker? Oh, I'm playing. You're playing? Oh yeah, yeah. And I'm I'm gonna make Ken drive so that I don't have to drive later on. It's gonna be yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can we go back to uh, the guy? Is he still riding on that rail? Do you have to requeue that, or can no, no, we no, join it mid it. mid progress? We can do it mid process, right? Dill has garlic. What's the point in a mint? They are selling dill pickle candy canes this year. Yeah. Okay, so now he's above the outdoor amphitheater where Steve Martin is playing the Hollywood Bowl with an arrow through his head and a white suit. What is? I want to know what's going on at the base of the dam. That's that's my whole thing. I mean, the guy on the bike is is that's impressive. He's got balance. He's got good balance. Maybe there's maybe there's training wheels on the side. Oh well, no, you saw him hop up, so I don't. I don't know. Maybe he's just good at this. What other drops do you have saved? Anything? No, because uh, they just updated this system this morning. They've been updating it over and over. And every time they update it, I need to re-import everything from before. So, uh, no, nothing. Can you crank up the music? Mm-hmm. It goes with the video. Yeah. That was the extent of the video? Yep, that was it. Let's see, can we see it again? Oh, yeah. Okay, so here's the deal. This guy, Fabio Wibmer, goes up on the rail, separating himself and 660 feet down to the bottom of this dam in Austria. And he rides the rail on his mountain bike. I mean, that's only about, what, 50 feet right there to that second tier? But now, look. Now the drop-off begins. The hop, I don't know how he does it. Where's everybody else, by the way? The weather doesn't look that great. I don't know if that's kind of the tourist oh, season. Oh, yeah, not to mention, he's doing this in weather cold enough to have snow and ice. Yeah. Not, not summertime. So your theory is, is that he has a, uh, a tether on or something that we can't see? If I was on the bike, I would have a tether on. Well, yesterday you claimed that you're a better musician than Coldplay, so. No, 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 no. That was Nickelback. Nickelback. Or uh, Nickelback, um, sorry. Yeah, no, and I'll stand by that. Coldplay? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't know what's worse, our, uh, our rundown of the web's most infotaining esoterica plus our witty, witty banter to start this, or the fact that uh, this video of this guy riding this rail has boosted our live viewership almost, you know, yeah. twofold. Well, uh, you know, and, and this is a live show, we're, we're showing video from other places on the web, but if, if, if you're just tuning in on Facebook, it could look like we're live streaming from this dam, and one of us is on it, you know? Uh, that's, uh, actually, that is, that's me. Yeah, this is uh, earlier this morning. This is, well, no, it's it's John. <laughs> this is how he got to work. Yep, I rode the The local bike. four from his apartment over in, uh, what is it, Corktown? I, just down yeah. the street? Yeah, it's not technically Corktown, I guess. 
because Corktown is another street over. It's the Jefferson West Industrial. I don't know. So I do want to give a shout out because I see someone in the comments section. Good morning, Halston Herrera. Have a good day at school. She used Wait. to be a uh, digital editor Where, here. I missed Halston. Where yeah, is she? she? I just there? saw it just down there. Hey, there. Are all, yeah. Hey, yeah. I see you, John and Jason. All your digital glory. P.S. I want the avocado mustache paper clips. Well, let's take a look let's, at them. Let's again. um, let's call those back up. <clears throat> Our former coworker Halston. There colleague. That's it. Uh, uh, it's got to be fun when you have your papers all put together and you've got some silly uh, paper clips. <laughs> where do you get these? Where did where um, was these? A lot of them were from Etsy. That's okay. where like the majority of them were from. But there were a few from a random other places, but a majority of them could be found at Etsy. All the links were available on Mashable. Hmm. So. Jessica Riggleman says, how long is this person doing this for? It makes me want to vomit. <laughs> the bike. Yeah. It's, it's a good three minute video. I just, I don't know. You know it is. By the way, uh, Mindy Ellsworth has two cups of Folgers vanilla coffee every morning with Almond Joy creamer. Mm. Folgers vanilla with Almond Joy creamer. I'm not gonna cast a Persian, uh, aspersions. I'm not going to judge because I have taster choice with coffee mate and sugar. There's that, yeah. In no. this mug that my daughter made. See, I don't mind the vanilla stuff. The, the vanilla coffees and things like that, but uh, no cream. No sugar. Um, Gary and Pam Sprouse, we drink about four to five cups a day. Have to keep going with our schedule. Um, did Arlene is it Aunt Arlene? Aunt Arlene. Aunt my Arlene twin. ever uh, enlighten us as to why I don't see my cousin Vinny was yeah. pulled and then re-released? I'll have to give her a call and find out. Good morning to Hoda. Shayla? Shayla? Shayla Lynn? Um, Teresa? Todd? Deshaun thinks that bike thing was an incredible view, by the way. Yeah. What are you looking up? Well, I was going to text my aunt and ask why Cousin Vinny was pulled. <laughs> You're texting her when you could just as easily look it up on Google and find out. Couldn't Jacob find couldn't anything. find it, yeah. There's you couldn't find it? On, no, I literally looked up Vinny pulled, Vinny re-released, couldn't find anything. No Cousin Vinny. I don't know. Hmm. Let me see. My Cousin Vinny re-released. What does that come up with? Oh, nothing on Oh, 29 fun facts about my cousin Vinny. That might be worth looking at. Mental Floss, the website Mental Floss. Mm -hmm. If you've ever been there, that's a pretty cool. By the way, on uh, the sports page, uh, click on Detroit.com, we have uh, Serena Williams and her scathing letter on gender bias. And we want your odd, awesome, or unique holiday traditions. Share them with us. The odd ones? Strange, strange what I mean, besides your party that you have, what are the? Um, no, it's all pretty, pretty standard, traditional things, I guess. Uh, yeah, nothing. I remember reading something interesting. This was a good one. It was about President's Day, and the guy, uh, the guy was divorced, and he wanted to spend more time with his kids, so he got him really into President's Day and how they celebrate. And you have to decorate the President's Day mattress. Because and that's why mattress stores always have their sales on President's Day, so that you can get your President's Day mattress and de decorate it. And Wally, the presidential moose, comes, and if you get all the answers right on your presidential quiz, and these kids were like really into President's Day, and I can just imagine them going to college and pulling out the mattress and wondering, <laughs> wondering why no one else is getting involved. President's Day. Utes, by the way, came from a real conversation. The two Utes. The two Utes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can visit locations in the movie. A lot of the uh, bar association says it's the uh, great one of the greatest legal movies because they so much of civil it civil procedure and, and everything. Okay. There could have been a sequel. Really. Joe wanted to do a sequel, but Marissa Tomei did not. Now she does, and so does Joe, but the studio is not interested. Too bad. There's a Bollywood version? Bollywood, really? A Bollywood version of My Cousin Vinny. 
Morning, Dustin. Thank you. So you like my suit. Mm. Oh. <laughs> You're like, oh, wow. Yeah, I don't know about this Cousin Vinny thing. I'm going to... You're going to have to figure out what's going we'll, on with that. Uh-oh. John Francesca Catanese has checked in. Hey. Good morning. Good morning, Francesca. How have you been? We're going to have to have Francesca come in here one day mm -hmm. and She'll sit be with a special us. guest. It'll be our special guest. And we have the weather patio right here. You can't see it, but it's right behind the camera. I'm looking out at the Christmas decorations, Should the I holiday decorations. I can turn the camera that far, I think. But, well, if you do, then oh, you're going to go gonna past Rob Maloney. Yeah. Let's, get every, let's take a look at the newsroom. Let's What's see if, happening today? Well, there's TV's Ken. There's the newsroom. Actually, it might not go we, Oh, there's, there's Rob, Rob Maloney. There's the flag. There's the weather patio. Can you zoom past Colthorpe's Stars and Stripes? Tilt down. Okay, so we could bring in Francesca Catanese and have her go out there and do weather reports for us. Okay, I'm in. Yeah. Rod, say hi, you're on camera. Oh, you want to come over? Follow him over. Okay. Uh oh, here comes Rob Maloney. I gotta turn it all the way around so oh. I won't be able to anyway. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. We gotta get the camera shot back. There's oh. Dustin talking to Ken. Oh, okay. Every year, and maybe you still get, maybe you get yours every year. Every year, we get the heads up that the auto show is coming 